Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to explain what's meant by oxidation and reduction in terms of electrons. You should then be able to identify oxidation and reduction in half equations or in symbol equations. All of this material is for higher students only. In the last video we started looking at displacement reactions such as this one. We saw that a more reactive element will displace a less reactive element from its compound. In this case, because magnesium is more reactive than iron, it displaces the iron from the iron oxide. The iron atoms have been reduced as they've lost oxygen. The magnesium atoms have been oxidised as they've gained oxygen. Now in this video we're looking at another definition of oxidation and reduction. This one involves electrons. Oxidation is the loss of electrons, and reduction is the gain of electrons. Here's an example to illustrate the idea. We've got a magnesium atom forming the magnesium ion, Mg2+, and two electrons. In this case, we can see that the magnesium atom has been oxidised as it's lost electrons. Scientists call equations such as this one a half equation and we're going to be seeing these again in later videos. Here's another example. Here a sulphur atom has gained two electrons and formed the sulphide ion. We can see that in this case the sulphur atom has been reduced as it has gained electrons. Now there's a fairly easy way to remember this. Think of the words oil rig. Oxidation is loss of electrons and reduction is the gain of electrons. Here are two examples for you to try. Pause the video now and work out whether these are oxidation reactions or reduction reactions. Okay, so this half equation shows an aluminium atom losing three electrons to form an aluminium ion. Because the aluminium atom has lost electrons, this is an oxidation reaction. This half equation shows an oxygen atom gaining two electrons to form an oxide ion. This is a reduction reaction as the oxygen atom has gained electrons. OK, now you could be asked to identify oxidation or reduction reactions in symbol equations. Here's a typical question. Identify in the reaction below which element has been oxidised and which has been reduced. This shows zinc reacting with copper sulphate to form zinc sulphate and copper. This is a displacement reaction. Now in order to answer this question you need to know the ions present. So I'm showing you these here. Pause the video and try this question. If we look at the zinc, we can see that we start with the zinc atom Zn, and we end up with the zinc ion Zn2+. In order for this to happen, the zinc atom must have lost two electrons like this. Therefore, the zinc atom has been oxidised. Looking at the copper, we start with the copper ion Cu2+, and we make the copper atom Cu. For this to happen, the copper must have gained two electrons. In other words, it was reduced. Remember, you'll find plenty more questions on oxidation and reduction in terms of electrons in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to explain what's meant by oxidation and reduction in terms of electrons. You should then be able to identify oxidation and reduction in half equations or in symbol equations.